I'm retired law enforcement, and when I took the job with the police, I had to swear an allegiance to uphold and defend the Constitution. About five years ago, I got very serious about studying the Constitution. I wanted to know what it is that these guys created to set up the United States of America. And so I read the Constitution. And when I say I studied it, I studied it by reading it and rereading it. The state legislatures created the Constitution, created the federal government, and they kept the Senate as a house to represent their interest. The House of Representatives was to represent we the people and for a popular election. Oh, I didn't know that. I went all the way through school. I've got a college degree. I took a graduate course in constitutional law, and I somehow wasn't taught that. I had to learn it accidentally. So at that point, I was like, I have to know more. I became attracted to the Convention of the States because this is an opportunity for us to retrieve the original principles of the Constitution. It's a timeless document of principles of liberty that are relevant now and for future generations, just as relevant today as it was back then. Uh, I've been involved with Convention of the States for two, two and a half years now, and I'm feeling a lot of forward momentum. I was at the state legislature in Missouri today meeting senators and representatives, and that there's widespread knowledge of what our mission is, and I think there's growing acceptance, so I'm very encouraged. Well, I think our federal government has grown outside the footprint of what was intended, and we need to just, as citizens, we need to reel it back in.